and Sudan's economic woes, which fueled the overthrow of former President Omar al-Bashir last year, are driving a wedge between the military and civilian members of the transitional government that replaced him. Criticism over the control over the, uh, of, over the economy is still exercised by the military. A year after it agreed to share power with civilians has drawn an angry response from top commanders determined not to take the blame for the crisis. In a speech to troops on Monday, military leader General Abdel Fattah al-Bohan hit out at what he said was a campaign aimed at undermining the integrity of the armed forces. He was alluding to comments made by top civilian in the transitional government, Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok. Hamdok complained on Friday that his minister has control over just 18% of the state sector, seriously hampering their efforts to rescue the economy.